Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will be doing a showcase on the Fuvo Spec 5 gallon aquarium, and I will also be doing an initial setup of this aquarium. So, when you buy this aquarium, you will find in the box a glass aquarium, a lid, as well as a light, a pump, as well as some sponges for the filtration unit. You can find the official uh, dimensions for this aquarium on Fluvo's official website, but I will also add them on the screen right now. You will notice, however, that on the website, it says that the height is of 19 centimeters. However, as you can notice, the light is not fixed on the lid, which adds a good five centimeters to the whole height. So, Take that in mind when you are planning on where you're going to be putting this aquarium. It is higher than what is written on the website. So as you can notice, this aquarium has a brace, a plastic brace at the bottom, which helps hold the weight of the aquarium. Meaning that you can pretty much put this aquarium anywhere as it is, as long as the surface is leveled. The filtration in this aquarium uses the free stage filtration uh, method of Fluval, meaning that you're gonna have a first layer of filtration that's gonna be done by the sponge, and then the water is gonna make its way through um, your activated carbon, and then your biological filtration, which are, is the Biomax uh, ceramic media that Fluval sells. Afterwards, the water is going to pursue its way through the chamber where there's the pump that's going to return the water inside the aquarium. And personally, I like to mod my filters a little bit by adding a little bit of filter sponge as well as biological media at the bottom. You can use the basic filtration unit that is given with this aquarium and you'll be just fine. Speaking of the filtration uh, unit, you will notice that there is a black honeycomb finish at the end, which helps hide everything and make it look tidier. The pump that is given with this aquarium is a small square pump that fits in the back. And you will also notice that there is a small lever that you can change to influence the um, output level of the pump meaning that if you have some fish, for example, bettas with long fins, you can reduce the flow so that the betta is not um, affected by strong current, for example. You will also notice that the output nozzle of the pump comes on a ball joint, meaning that you can rotate it around to direct the flow of the water inside of the aquarium. When you look at the inside of the aquarium, you will notice that there's a small slit right here. That's one of the places where the water goes through to the filter section. There's also the top section right here, where the water will just slide and go to the filter section. The light that comes with this aquarium is made out of a single piece of metal. And on the top, you will find a touch screen that you can use to pass through the different modes of the light. On the inside, you will notice the LEDs and you will also see that the LEDs are covered by a sort of translucent gel layer that will protect them from water splashes that might occur. To install the light, you will notice that there's a small screw at the side as well as an insert here. On the back of the aquarium, there's the matching piece where you can just place down and slide down the light and then afterwards with the screw, you can adjust the level. Once your light is plugged in, you can use the touch screen at the top to pass through all the modes. Right now it is on the closed mode, but once it is closed, you can press once to activate the regular lighting uh, program. And then you can press another time to pass on the night mode. The night mode uses blue lights and I'm a little bit lazy in the sense that I don't want to be the one to manually light up all of my aquariums and I much prefer using an automatic aquarium light timer that makes sure that all my aquariums light up for the amount of time that I want regardless of if I am there to turn them on or off. If you want more information about aquarium light timers, I've already made a video on it 
and you can find it in the description or in your suggestions. Finally, we're now at the step that most aquarium keepers love to do, which is aquascaping their aquarium. You can go for complicated designs that are overfought. You can also go for a simple design where you just put a pile of rocks and a few plants and that works too. For me, to do this aquarium, I'm gonna go with a little complicated designs, but it's actually quite simple as you will find out. The first step to plan your aquascape is actually to measure the inside of your aquarium to see how much space is available. And I've done that previously. And what I did is that I cut out a piece of paper that fits the inside of my aquarium. And so what I did with this piece of paper is that I actually bought a few rocks and piece of dead wood and I was trying to rearrange them on the piece of paper to find a design that I liked and that fitted what was actually the space available in my aquarium. Since I plan to use a lot of rocks in this aquarium for my design and that I don't want to scratch the bottom, I'm actually going to be using some lighting plastic panels to cover the bottom of the aquarium. That way the weight of the rocks is supported, but also if I move the rocks uh, anytime in the aquascape, I'm not going to be scratching the bottom of the aquarium, potentially damaging or cracking the window. As you can see, it's just a pile of rocks with a piece of dead wood. So it's not really that complicated. I only made sure that I was actually fitting the size of the aquarium. It is on the piece of plastic just to distribute the weight. And now that I have figured out the design that I want to use in it, it's only a matter of transferring everything into the aquarium. Okay, so the first step is to put the plastic insert inside the aquarium. And then afterwards, I'm gonna put a small layer of aqua soil Once the plastic insert is there and that I have my aqua soil, now is the time to place the rest of my hardscape. Once most of the setup is done, you can also add another layer of aqua soil around where you're going to be putting up your plants. And there we have it. My design for this aquarium is finished. This is the hardscape, so all the substrate, rocks and deadwood. I will be filling it up with water adding plants and then adding fish in an upcoming video that you're probably going to find here in the description or in your suggestion. So in the meantime, stay creative and I'm going to see you in the next one.